Shall we begin? Let's begin. Hi, I'm Tyler. K A zero K A. I uh, recently picked up a James Millen nine two two zero zero transmatch and found a, a little bit of a problem with the band switch that apparently was fairly common. So I wanted to kind of demonstrate how to uh, repair that. So as you can see I have the front panel taken off here and I also have the meter the reflectometer taken off to gain access to some of the uh, band switch mechanisms that have broken. And specifically what happens, this rod here is a Rexolite rod that went through this entire assembly that squeezes the band switch together so that when you rotate selections the contactor makes to the different points. <clears throat> The only problem is with the Rexolite material is its, uh, its own nature is it's very brittle and this is the result on that. You can see this uh, is, was actually inserted in and you know, over time they just become brittle and they don't have enough support to uh, hold the band switch together. And at one at a time remove the 832nd screw here, we're going to drill and then hand tap to go ahead and fix this. That will go through the entire thing. This will be our thread uh, tap set, really, and it'll be done by hand. The only thing we need to get through is this uh, short piece right here, and everything else is already hollowed out. We just need to get through this. And then we can insert our new hardware and put the band switch back together. So you should be real de delicate with this. It's going to be a really, really fine thing. And again, you're going to have to re-tap once everything is said and done. So we have that done. And now we'll go ahead and kind of re-thread here should be actually pretty easy. The threads were already pretty much in place. Hold the uh, mechanics behind there while you're re-threading so that they don't spin. And it's really important to use a hand thread here. Unfortunately I had to, had to use something like this. The handle was too small on anything available to uh, hold the, the, the thread here. This is a 3 inch 8 32nd uh, screw. It has a, uh, a countersunk uh, head uh, which matches the original. Just uh, start uh, putting this through the band switch. And it's good to do one side at a time here so that some of the parts, and I just saw part of the old uh, Rexolite rod pop out there that got sheared off. Kind of get it in here. We'll have to assemble the whole thing to uh, check it. But it's good to do one at a time. So I'll go ahead and do the other side now. Show you real quick how it went through. And again, half the band switch is taken apart at this moment. There's the new thread. Okay. So there it is through. And now we'll go ahead and do the same thing to that. Okay, so we'll undo the next part. It's the original. Everything looks lined up. Try to preserve the threads as much as possible. Again, we only need to get through that single plastic piece, so it's not too much to, to do. We'll just be gentle about it. Here we go.
Okay, well, that video has ended. However, I've been working on a whole collection of different signals and anomalies that are occurring right now throughout the HF spectrum. Some of these signals you simply will not believe. So, we'll be posting these shortly. We'll have analysis of each, and I guarantee you will not be disappointed. Stay tuned.